Very, very powerful connection, very commonly used. Once you have data in Google Sheets, you could do all sorts of things with it. It might be connected up with other systems. It might be used to log daily performance. It might be used to figure out marketing costs from other channels, whatever it may be. A lot of times you wanna get that information into a Google Sheet, and I'm gonna show you how to do that with Mobile Monkey. So let's go jump in into the Mobile Monkey dashboard, and we'll walk through this step by step. So first things first, what data am I sending to Google Sheets? So I went to my page builder, and I created a connections group, which is just a test. And I just I, and I just labeled this page the ebook form for Google Sheets for the sake of illustration. So for example, let's say we have a chat bot flow that is getting people to download an ebook and we want to collect information through a form. So we have a very simple text widget um, that asks that prompts the user to answer a few questions, and then we have a form widget. Keep in mind, you don't have to have a form to send data to Google Sheets. You could send any attributes any characteristics from any audience to Google Sheets. I'm just using the form widget to illustrate this uh, to show you how it might look in the real world. So I have a form widget that asks for email. I have a, and then the next question asks for job title, and the next question asks for company name. And we're just gonna assume that those are the important metrics that we wanna get into Google Sheet along with first name and last name. So I need to first, so the next step is to go ahead and actually create a Google Sheet that we're going to use with the proper column setup. So I'm gonna go over to Google Sheets. So I'm gonna go over to a blank Google Sheet that I have set up and I'm gonna title this sheet and I'm gonna call it Mobile Monkey Connections Ebook Data. Okay, and obviously you would name your sheet something different. So I'm gonna set up some columns. I'm gonna have first name, last name, email, job title, and company name. Is that the last one we had in the, double check the data I want, company name, okay? So first name, last name, email, job title, company name. And again, remember we could have any other custom attributes be sent over that we've been collecting through MobileMonkey. As long as it's in the contacts database, as long as it's an attribute in the contacts database, we could send that to Google Sheets through a connection. The next thing we're gonna do is create a Zapier account or you're gonna log into your Zapier account if you already have one. I'm just gonna continue as Isaac and I'm just gonna log into my Zapier account here and I'm gonna go ahead and click make a Zap. And now I am in my Zapier Zap setup workflow. Zapier works through choosing a trigger app and choosing an action app. Most of the time people use Zap to send data from let's say HubSpot to Google Sheets or whatever, but we're gonna be using a custom webhook, which is what we're gonna be using to send data through from MobileMonkey into a Google Sheet. So our trigger app is gonna be a custom webhook. So first I'm gonna name the Zap just so I can remember what the Zap is for. And I'm gonna call this MobileMonkey ebook form to Google Sheets, let's say. I'm gonna click search hundreds of apps, I'm just gonna search for webhook, okay? And I'm gonna click webhooks by Zapier. We wanna choose a catch hook, okay? Because we're sending information to this webhook as opposed to the webhook sending information to us. So it's gonna be called a catch hook, save and continue. This next step we could skip, we don't need to pick off a child key, just ignore that completely, click continue. And now we could pull in some samples and they give us a URL to copy to our clipboard. So copy this URL to our clipboard and now let's go back into Mobile Monkey. Now we're back in Mobile Monkey and we wanna to go to our connections dashboard under our marketing automation tools and click the yellow button in the upper right hand corner to add a new connection and select webhook which is the only option. I'm gonna to toggle it. I'm gonna to name this send ebook form to Google Sheets or send data to Google Sheets. I could add a description if I need to, but I don't want to. And I have the option to continuously send contact data from an audience or send contact data whenever a widget is reached. These are two distinct options and you should figure out which one is best in which scenario. So in this specific scenario that we're talking about, so if you only want to send data to Google Sheets or to whatever program you're sending that data to for a specific thing, like a specific bot flow, then you might want to choose send contact data whenever a specific widget is reached. In our example case, and what I do 99% of the time is I continuously send contact data from an audience. I love basing things off audiences. It just makes more sense to me, and it's more easy to organize and to remember what connections are doing what. So I could create an audience of people who fill out this form, 
right, and just use that. I could choose any of my pre-built audiences or any of your pre-built audiences. I'm just gonna choose all contacts. And what that will do is whenever somebody is added to the all contacts audience, if the webhook is set up properly, that information will be pushed into Google Sheets automatically behind the scenes without us having to do anything to make that happen. And then we can let our Google Sheet act as a central database for all of our contacts being generated through our messenger marketing efforts. We're gonna paste the URL we have on our clipboard into the URL field, and then we're gonna keep the request type as post because we're posting this data to the webhook that is catching the data and then sending it to Google Sheets. Now we need to add the attributes and the values that we need to send into Google Sheets, and this is based on how we had our Google Sheet set up over here. So I'd like to send first name, and the value is gonna be the attribute first name. I'm gonna add an attribute called last name, and the value is gonna be last name. I'm gonna add an attribute called email, and the value is gonna be email, and this is a list of values that are available through Mobile Monkey, and I can search for it. And I'm gonna add an attribute called job title, and the value is gonna be job title, which is that custom attribute I have in that form. And I'm gonna add a value called company name, and that value is gonna be company name, which is another custom attribute which I created in that form. All right, okay, I'm gonna leave save response added to contact attributes unchecked, and we're going to click test connection. And we're gonna click test connection and send a test connection by just putting in some sample stuff here. So we can do Isaac Rudansky, email is Isaac, job title is CEO, company name is Adventure Media Group, and I'm gonna send the test. All right, as long as we have a response success, that means our test worked, but that doesn't mean that this information is gonna be in Google Sheets yet. That's not gonna happen. All we did was test the URL of that Zapier webhook that they gave us. Now we need to go back into Zapier and configure our Google Sheets part of the Zap. So back in Zapier, we're gonna click OK, I did this, to move to the next step, and Zapier's looking for the hook and telling us that it might take a second. So nothing's gonna happen yet. We need to go ahead and, and set up the action part of the Zap. So we're gonna click set up this step, and we're gonna choose an app, click choose app, and we're gonna look for Google Sheets, Select Google Sheets, and we're gonna create spreadsheet row. That's the action we're gonna want. Save and continue, and we have to connect to an account, Isaac's Google Sheets account. Select that, save and continue, and we're gonna have to find our spreadsheet. So we have the name of our spreadsheet, which is Mobile Monkey Connections eBook Data, and it's right here, second one down, and the worksheet, okay? So the worksheet is what this is called sheet one. So we're gonna select sheet one, which is right over here. And Google Sheets pulls in the names of our columns for attributes. So now that we've established a connection to Google Sheets, we wanna go back into pull in samples of the trigger part of this app, and we're gonna go ahead and test this webhook. What we need to do first is click, okay, I did this, and now go back into Mobile Monkey while they're searching for new information to be sent through this webhook. So we're gonna to go to Mobile Monkey, we're gonna go back to our pages, we're gonna test our ebook download, and you could test any page that collects the variables that you're sending. But this is the only page in my MobileMonkey account that's collecting company name and job title, which is an attribute that I wanna send. So I'm gonna go and click. Just bear in mind, if you yourself are a contact or if the person who's doing this test is a contact in the, Mob in the MobileMonkey database, you should first go delete yourself and then test this page just to make sure there are no bugs or glitches. So before I test this page in Messenger, I wanna go back and make sure that I toggled my connection to be active. If it's not active, MobileMonkey will not send that data to the webhook, and Zapier will not be able to find the test submission. So we're gonna go back to connections. I'm gonna edit this connection, which is in draft mode. I'm gonna to toggle it to active and wait until it saves. Great, it saves. And now I can go back to my pages, go back to this Google Sheets ebook form. Now I can test this page and open it up in Messenger and to see if this connection is working. Please tap your email to get my free ebook. I'm gonna tap my email. Ask me what's your job title, CEO, hit enter. What's your company name, Adventure Media Group, 
hit enter and it should say, thanks Isaac, here's your ebook. And of course this is not a live chatbot flow, so it's not gonna send me the ebook right now. But the point is we wanna see if all this is working, if the webhook is working. So let's go back to my Zap and see what's happening. So I'm gonna open up Zapier. Fantastic, test was successful. So everything is in place right now with regards to the webhook. MobileMonkey is collecting the data properly through the chatbot flow. That contact is being added to my all contacts audience and my connection in MobileMonkey is working to push that data to the URL. Now we need to complete our setup where we're gonna send that data through the webhook into Google Sheets. I'm gonna go back to the edit template part of the action setup. I'm now gonna be able to configure these custom fields. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna click into each one of these custom fields and find the right variable from the test. So first name was Isaac, last name was Rudansky, email was email, job title was CEO, beautiful, and company name was Adventure Media Group. Everything is in perfect working order. I'm gonna click continue and I'm getting a warning that there's an unfinished step in this app. Please finish or delete before completing this step. Step one needs attention, edit here. Let's see what this is. Catch hook, that should be working. Pick that, skip that, continue, pull in samples. Okay, let's see, edit template. That's all good. Test this step. We're gonna send this test now to Google Sheets. So I just had to run through that one more time to make sure everything was fine. It looked like everything was okay. Um, and when I click this blue button, if I, and when I click this blue button, send test to Google Sheets, if everything has worked and configured properly, we should get this information from Zapier into Google Sheets. So let's see what happens. Send test to Google Sheets. A test spreadsheet row was sent to Google Sheets just now. Let's take a look. And look at that, guys. Absolutely amazing. I really love this stuff because it's so complex and so simplified through the use of these software tools. So I'm gonna delete, or let's, let's leave this row here and let's do an actual test, not through Zapier. So now I'm gonna click Finish. We're gonna keep this Zap, make sure to toggle the Zap on. If you, don't toggle, if you do not toggle the zap on, the zap won't work. All we just did was a test, okay? My zap is on. I can now go back to my dashboard. I could leave Zapier and I could try this again. So I'm gonna just delete this conversation in Messenger. I am going to go to contacts in MobileMonkey, delete myself as a contact so this works well. I'm gonna go back to my page. I'm gonna go to the Google Sheets ebook form and I'm going to test this page again in Messenger and I'll put in some different data to make sure that this zap is working. So let's see what happens here. It's gonna be the same email, of course, because that's the email. My job title, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna write uh, president or let's say vice president because I'm in the mood to write vice president. And what's my company name is Microsoft, okay? Actually, no, I don't like my. And I'm gonna write, and for company name, I'm gonna write uh, Nikon Camera Company LTD. Enter. Thanks, Isaac, here's your ebook. Okay, now let's go and see how this zap is working in the real world. If I go now from Messenger to Google Sheets, look at that, I have a second row, Isaac Radansky, Vice President of Nikon Camera LTD instantaneously, right? That happened within seconds. So that Zap is working beautifully and every single time somebody gets added to this all contacts audience, MobileMonkey is gonna push that data through the webhook into Zapier. Zapier will take that information and push it into Google Sheets. It's a beautiful thing and it all happens behind the scenes. I hope this was a helpful step-by-step -step instruction on how to set up connections using Zapier. And as you set up more Zaps and more connections, this whole process will become much, much easier for you.